Hello, Forgaster here again, and we are back for episode 188 of Enter the Gungeon. As you can see, we are picking up right where we left off, fighting this agonizer. And we are going to just head down, continue downwards to the forge to get the ruby bracelet. Another piece of armor, nice. Uh, get the ruby bracelet to the blacksmith and see what she wants to do with it. Maybe she'll improve it somehow, make it more useful. Ah, dang it. Stupid. Bullet Mancers, or whatever your names are. I don't remember. Well, this is not going particularly well all of a sudden. And we're down to half a heart. We do have the clone, however, so if we die, it's not the end of the world. But I would have to start over. And I would also miss out on the uh, rainbow chest we'd get from for getting down to the forge, which I'd rather have that first and then die if possible. I'm going to try to stay alive. Even if I have to use the railgun to do it. I can deal with one shotgun. Kin. Ah, oh, jeez. Go away. Uh, right. We don't have any health stored up, but there may be health to buy, so I'm going to do that. Because I definitely want to stay alive. Uh, and then should be on track to get the boss. It's not here. There's at least one more room. Oh. Alright, the pre-boss room is not marked as such. And then, of course, it is the wallmonger, which is fine because... The railgun should make pretty short work of him or it. And with flying, we don't have to worry about the fire. Well, no mast around, but. At least I bought health, so I didn't die from that. Well, I'm getting rather close. Oh, uh, well. Foo, I say to that. Foo. Indeed. Yeah. So we do get more weapons. Uh, I'm going to take the super hot watch. As it is the super odd watch, it's going to make this attempt a lot easier. We don't get more we got we don't get new ammo for the 
guns we had previously, so... Uh, should be fine, though. I mean, if I mess this up, I am really terrible. Did I realize that those had a max range? Oh dear. So much shaking. Oh yay, a hegemony credit. Just what I wanted. At least we get full health. We also get another shot at getting the master rounds I messed up previously, which includes the first boss, so we could potentially get a bunch of health from doing this. Uh, there's you, don't care about you. you can sit on that, sit in those chests. Fine with that. There we got ammo refill for the railgun, which is lovely. Saw the shop up there. We don't really need to go there, I guess. Although we could get some cheap armor, potentially. Well, cheap-ish. Oh, a teleporter, so we'll have to fly back up. Let's see what we have here. Oh. No armor. Of course. Uh, of course, but we should have the boss right here. Should be insanely easy. Link gets us a bunch more hegemony credits. We don't pretty sure I'm gaining as faster than I can spend them. And then we get another piece of armor, which is great. Go down to the second floor and get another rainbow chest, which is Marvelous. Won't get a master round for this floor because we already have one, of course. Uh, we can have an active item. Or we could have more health. I'm going to take this. Because you haven't seen it yet. Well, not in my videos at least. I probably shouldn't be using this. Flexibly used it against the... Chance Bulan. But I probably didn't need to do that. Uh, no armor to buy. There is ammo, however. Probably better off saving the money. probably get plenty of ammo. Ow. Thought I was just far enough away from that to not take damage in the explosion, but apparently I was wrong. 
We have a mini boss here, which would give us. God dang it. Potentially give us a map. It also costs us a bunch of health, apparently. We might get back. Get a bunch of money, get a key. Oh, that was not worth it. I should probably pick a weapon. I got a weapon from the next chest that is a bit more uh, room cleary. Yeah. Could use that for sure. Ammo. It's a chest room that we don't need. Of course, I knew that was there, but I went in anyway. Nice, back at full health. Whoop, that was very close. I almost went into that or rolled into that rolling pin should have been ironic I think okay there's the boss I would like to actually there's nothing else to do is there just as usual I don't know why I thought I had something else to do so I've been in the shop already so we're just going to pop in here. Pop you down. I almost messed that up. Yep. Bye. Thanks for the help. Uh, well, now we have two of those. Does that actually do anything? We have five. Oh, it does. Do you get... Oh, okay. I did not think you would get additional hearts for getting master rounds twice. So I guess it would be best to flawless all the bosses twice than uh, missing ones or failing the first time and then using the clone to get the second one. Uh... Okay, uh, ammo will do. No secret room there. We'll just head down to the next floor. Uh... Don't know why I went into those rooms, really. Didn't really need to do that. Uh, well... Makeshift cannon. Haven't seen that in a while.
Nice armor. Uh, the makeshift cannon is going to be a nice initial bit of damage against the boss. Ooh, that was close. Um... And then we'll use Gatling Gall and uh, the Railgun to finish off the rest of the boss, of course, after that, that initial bit of damage. It's unfortunate, lost the armor there once again. The NPC shops have their own music now. Pretty sure that's new. Along with that weird beholster shrine that I don't know what it what to do with. Uh, I don't think I really explained that, although I don't really know anything about it, just that it has its own music and that it says that it looks like the arms are supposed to hold weapons. Um, you can't give it weapons. I don't know if you are supposed to find find its arms. Ooh, that was close. I did not see you. Uh, so I'm not. I don't know if you're supposed to find find its weapons lying around uh, or what. I haven't seen anything that indicates that, but I don't know what else it would do. Because, like I said, you can't give it anything. Uh, this, of course, doesn't do anything either because you would get an item from it. I've tried tried it. Of course, you only get a note. Nice, that was it. Uh, should be coming up on the boss room, hopefully. Should be around here somewhere. Okay, it's not there. We have some health. Should I need it after the boss fight? Which I hopefully don't because I want the master round. Give me more health. Okay, there we go. We'll take this on immediately. And he's done. That was probably one of the fastest fights I've ever had. 
and then we can refill that. We get the master round, we get the armor, and I think that's it. We don't really need to do anything else on this floor. Check for a secret room here. Uh, we'll check for a secret room here. Nothing. Okay. So let's just go. I have a lot of money. Could have gone to the store and see, seen if they had any armor for sale, but yeah. We can potentially do that on this floor as well. Um, I'm gonna get this. Just use it as a general room clearing weapon till I run out of ammo. And we'll try to get straight to the boss. Nice. Don't know what I hit there, but it was an accident. Ah, dang it. Gave me waste of bullets, so I'm going to just blasphemy you. Six shots left. And then we're empty and we will go back to the classic blasphemy. Two spiders. Three spiders total. And I almost got hit there. That could have gone badly. But I managed it, fortunately. Could very well not have managed that at all. Health. Uh, refill this. Find the shop over here. Got health and ammo. Sales scrape. I don't need you. Don't have anything I want to sell to you. Here's the boss. We will gonna need to do this.
And there we go. That was also very quick. This is an incredible combination damage wise. And with that, we're just going to pop down to the next floor. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything else to do on this floor. So, as usual, we're just gonna go get a rainbow chest, uh, alpha bullet. That would make the makeshift cannon do a lot more damage. Although, Vulcan cannon, boundless slaughter, Vulcan raving. That's a new synergy. Oh, it has a synergy with the ticket as well. Interesting. So if I were to drop it and pick it back up, get the Vulcan Raving with the Wax Wings. Oh, but it... That one doesn't have a name. Okay. Ah, dang it. Probably been paying more attention there, obviously. Where have I gotten curse from? Okay, I'm gonna stick to this primarily because it's better. And we'll see if we can find the blacksmith and turn over the bracelet. I'm faster. pick that up apparently for some weird reason don't know what that why that happens I'm pretty sure that is a bug That was a pretty terrible miss, as was that. But hey, got a free blink. 
And here we are. Let's talk to you. Hey, I see you got the ruby bracelet. Mind if I have it? Sure, it's worthless anyway. I agree to that. Thanks. This thing, I made it when I was first starting out. I hate it. I agree still. Reminds me of failure. I'm going to fix it, make it better. All right. Okay. It is better. Different, at least. Here you go. I never want to see it again. Ruby bracelet moving forward. Keep moving without dodge rolling or being hit to generate a kinetic aura which can be unleashed by dodge rolling into enemies. In a bygone area of the gungeon, misguided scarcity created situations where throwing a firearm as a last resort weapon seemed viable. In modern, sensible times, denizens of the gungeon have come to understand that throwing a gun is awkward and pointless. So useless was the ruby bracelet in its previous form that the gunsmith melted it down and reforged it. Interesting. So there's the aura. And hitting a wall resets it. Let's try it out on something. I wonder. I'm going to. I would presume that it stacks with the. Um, ow. Um. Well, that's kind of awkward, I guess. Especially since you need a... Does seem to do a lot of damage though. Maybe she can improve other things. Maybe we should go back to talking to her again. Oh wow, that one shot at that guy. I guess it does a lot of damage. Because normally the roll doesn't even one shot a bullet can. Okay, let's talk to the blacksmith again. Gunsmith. Okay, we get the bullet. Yeah, a bunch of stuff I've seen before. Okay. So nothing else there, at least not right now. There's you down here for some reason. You get that truck in all kinds of places, don't you?
pretty nice. Yeah, as soon as you stop, it dies. Didn't manage to one shot a cursed or jammed. Ah, try to catch that. Uh, jammed gun nut. And evidently if you get hit it ends the or kills the charge as well. Okay, uh, the boss room is quite elusive. It looks like I have to go around all that way. any ammo boxes uh, kind of want the that's not where I'm meant to go kind of want the uh, makeshift cannon for this I'm gonna kill the dragon just because Well, didn't get the master round this time. Hmm. Wonder if I can just stand behind you. Kinda, yeah. Don't know how much you can take though, before you fly off. Slightly narrower path that time. But this kind of works pretty pretty nicely. He's not too effective against the heart though, because he doesn't aim for it, just aims for the center of the dragon itself. Ah. Kinda hoping I could roll into it and do a lot of damage but I just bounced off.
That does it though. So, I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, got a little bonus dragon killing there at the end, I suppose. And uh, with that, I will see you in the next episode. And you don't have the wax wings in here, right? Lose any items temporarily. Uh, so yeah, we'll figure out what else to do in the uh, next episode. It still dings as if you had the charge. Weird. Okay. Uh, I'll see you in the next video then.